the defendant please stand? In the charge of murder in the first degree, how do you find? We, the people of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, find the defendant, Todd Manning, guilty. Have you reached a verdict in the second charge? We have, Your Honor. In the charge of murder in the first degree, how do you find? We find the defendant guilty of the charge of murder of the unborn child, Todd Manning, Jr. found guilty of two counts of murder in the first degree. You will be remanded into the custody of the Commonwealth until your sentencing hearing scheduled for February 3rd. I trust that your time in incarceration will allow you to think about your actions and the resulting loss of life. This court is adjourned. All rise. Justice has been served. Todd, I'm so, so sorry. Man, I ain't gonna take you back to the station. But no. I need to talk to you. No, you calm down. Come on. Get your hands up. Todd. You're making it worse on yourself, Manny. You can see how he is. At least can you Mrs. Kramer, it might be time for you to leave. Thank you very much. Look, we've got to go. There's nothing you can do here. Nothing whatsoever. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. So much. That's enough. It's enough. I guess the Manning verdict's out. Already? Well, I camped out there for a while. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Well, you know, they, I, they have to find him guilty. That's all I have to say about that. Well, at least I know where you stand on the matter. Well, you know, I, I've been following the news. I'm sure you have. They have so much evidence against him. Yeah, I know. John found the baby, remember? Oh. Michael, I'm sorry. No, it's, it's I forgot. Fine. He's been really upset, though. You're right, though, you know? Mm. They should put him away. The guy's guilty as hell. How many sugars did you put in here? Four. Four. And remember, you know you're gonna get diabetes. So? Where are you going? Uh, I have to go somewhere and do something. Somewhere, something. Nice. We're back together a week, and you're already keeping secrets no. from me. No, 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 it's not a secret. I'm just a, I'm, I'm just a little embarrassed. Embarrassed? Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I am, uh, fine, all right, I'll tell you. I am doing a concert at St. James, and I was on my way to rehearsal. And you're embarrassed about this, why? Because... You're a great singer, Marcy. Yeah, well, I just haven't really sung in a really long time, and, and I'm kind of rusty. I doubt it. No, I'm rusty. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm really happy that you're getting back to the things you love. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> you're worried about your dad, aren't you? No, he's innocent. The jury knows that. There's no way that they're going to convict him. What, you think he's guilty too? Oh, wait, is that because your dad's the one that put my dad in jail? How we think I'm deluded. What's deluded mean? It's like you still believing in Santa Claus. No, I don't. Not since you told me he doesn't exist. Yeah, well, at least somebody tells you the truth. My dad doesn't talk to me about work. You just think that everything your dad does is perfect, don't you? Talk about deluded. No, I'm not. And I don't think you are either. I just think you need a friend. If I were you, I'd be scared, too. Nobody understands what it feels like to think that your dad could just 
You can never see him again. I do. I'm afraid my mom will never wake up again. Guess we both need a friend right now. Miss Kramer, are you children aware that there's a bunch of people on the gonna be okay listen i'm gonna call the girls i don't want them to find out about this on the news jessica loves todd they've always been so close what is this going to do to her on top of everything else jessica's strong like her mother and we're going to get her through this would you guys please do call them i, I don't want to leave todd alone. all right let's go manning you're sending an innocent man to jail though Jury didn't think so. I didn't kill that woman. And maybe someday, after they stuck that needle in my arm and they buried me, you're gonna realize that. And it makes you a murderer, too. Let's go. Sorry it didn't work out for you. If there's anything I can do. There is. <sighs> Thank you very much for helping me get Blair away from the courtroom so quickly. All those paparazzis swooping in for the kill. Hasn't Blair been through enough? Yes, she has. You all have. How are you holding up? You okay? Oh, I'm not. How am I going to tell my children what's going to happen to the father? Honestly, I really don't know, but I think you better find a way before they hear it from someone else. I'm just afraid. Well, I'll be here for you, if that makes it any easier. No, I will be. I'm family. Oh, come on, Dorian. It's not a competition. You're as bad as Todd. I'm not a baby killer. I can't believe you said that. I'm, I'm sorry. Really, uh, it was uncalled for. I really apologize. Uh, it's just if anybody is going to take care of those children, it should be me. Well, if you would like to help, you can go pick up Star. She's with Matthew and Marianne. The number's right there on the desk. All right. I'll, uh, I'll drive you. You left your car at the courthouse. Oh. Thank you. We'll be back soon. Should I go? Should I leave? No, I'm... I want you to stay. I don't want to be alone. What's that? It's just, uh, something the kids left behind. Maybe things would turn out okay. Your dad could get free and my mom could finally wake up again. Maybe. You know, I pray every night for my mom. Does it work? Yeah, I think it does. You need a hot tea, lemon and honey, before you go to rehearsal. How do you know that? I know they didn't teach you that in medical school. My mom's a singer. She always has one before she goes on. Yes. Yeah. I totally forgot your mom was a singer. You remember we went and saw her Capricorn? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. Oh, hey, excuse me. Have you heard anything about the Manning trial? Oh, uh, let me check. 
Wait, don't! Landview publisher Todd Manning has been found guilty of two counts of first-degree murder. Sentencing will occur on February 3rd, but according to sources, the DA is asking for the death penalty. No! Turn that off. To use the ladies' room. I don't want any press in here. Have a seat. Ms. Davidson, how do you feel about the verdict? Oh, no comment. Well, why didn't your brother just go for an insanity plea, given the history of mental illness in your lost, family? You? I'm going to keep you up here until your transportation to Statesville shows up. They're taking him there already? I'm sorry, but uh, it's the judge's orders. C could I have a moment alone with my brother, please? Yeah. Keep you cool, man. someone else at the lake that night. Todd didn't kill Margaret. I want you to find the person who did. Oh, I thought I lost it. You left it in the courtroom. Did you look inside? I'm a smooth-talking player. Everything you should stay away from. But I'm not a snoop. Well, can I have it back? Well, it depends on what's inside. Rex, can you just give it to me? If you want it, you're going to have to do something for it. What? Not that. You just have to let me show you something. Manning's been convicted. As far as the department's concerned, this case is closed. What would it take to reopen it? <sighs> evidence that doesn't exist? I don't have any evidence. No other suspects, no violations of police procedure or due process, no grounds for appeal, not one single damn mistake on anybody's part other than my client. I'm sorry. I don't want you to apologize. John, I don't, I don't want you to show up with bad coffee or bad jokes. That's not what I need. What do you need? I sound like a child. Tell me what you want. star. I mean, it's hard enough being a teenager without having to deal with something like this. Well, kids are pretty resilient, you know? They bounce back from just about anything. You're talking about your dad, aren't you? Oh, Matthew, and hello. Hi. Um, where's Star? She's in the bathroom. Poor thing's been in there since she heard the news about her father. She knows? She heard on the radio by mistake. She's really upset. I'm sure she is. You're a good friend, Matthew. You know, sometimes girls need a strong man when times get tough. Now I know because I'm a strong man. She's gone. What? She's gone. Oh, she must have gotten out the back way. I am. I better call Blair. No, no, what am I, what am I thinking? I can't call Blair. Blair's already devastated. This, this will absolutely kill her. All right. What are we going to do? 